Season 2. All right, so welcome back to some more Does Your Track Suck? Now, today I want to try and do this a bit different. So we still have three tracks. Nothing changes there. And I recorded two laps on each track. So uh, a better lap, a decent lap, and my very first lap, my very first lap on the track. I'm going to show you the, the better lap first, talk about the track, give it a rating, and then I'll show you the, the very first lap I had before we switch over to the next track. So somebody was asking about this in the comments. I figured we'd try it here. Let me know in the comments if you prefer this way, the new way, or the old way. And did I mention this is going to be a post commentary? So I'm just going to kind of give you my thoughts and opinions. And then again, we'll, we'll, we will rate the track. But uh, just figured it's a different way of doing it. Try it out and see how it goes. But uh, let's jump into this, starting with the first track. Okay, so here we have our very first track. This is uh, Lion's Full Send by Lion King 619, and it is very much what the name of the track would imply, a fast pace, full send, full throttle, big jumps everywhere kind of track. And we have played this kind of track before, but this one has a bit of a different take on it because it actually was a little bit tough. A lot of these tracks that are full send tracks, it's, it's so easy, so automatic. Never let off the throttle and you're easily going to get it. Maybe even over jump it. Here, even on the rhythm sections like we just went through there, if you weren't in the right gear or didn't hit it just right, you might be casing pretty hard. And even a small section like this with that small double and then this uh, step up double there, uh, was not that easy to get if you didn't approach it just right getting the step up double wasn't that easy Again here with the rhythm section if you don't hit it just right in the right gear You're gonna case this was actually kind of tough to clear that Hop over and then we have a big double here And then there's a few sections like uh, kind of like this one where you had to get out of the corner in a smooth decent way Or you're not gonna clear it more specifically, you're going to see it here after this ginormous triple. Huge triple. And then, uh, well, you're not going to see it. You will see it here. I, I mess it up here. I back up, and I believe I go for the double-double. So there is some line choice, I'm guessing. If you were to take that inside with that half loop, probably more the line that you're going to be hitting there. But I do show you a clip after this lap before we show you our very first lap on the track of uh, me getting this better. So we actually... Uh, it should be a triple in and then a double over the dragon's back into the pool and then you can send it out of the pool. So very fun section there into the whoops. And then this section here was one of my favorites as well because you really had to get out of the corner to hit this triple. You don't hit that triple, you're not getting any of this. You're barely getting it anyways. And it's very unique and kind of a Kind of a fun feel to how that is because those jumps are like twisting and turning away from you. So I really did enjoy that. And he does that uh, a few different times here, I believe. He does it again here. And then I believe he does it again after we uh, hit this corner here before the finish line. So overall, I really did enjoy it. It actually was kind of a challenging track. I mean, with the longer lap times, you guys know I struggle to have a perfect lap anyways. I always usually mess up somewhere at least once along the way and you know that happened here obviously where we had to back up and then this is the part i was talking about so we go triple in and then double out so overall a very very solid track you did a great job and we are on playstation again so if you guys want to try it out it is on playstation 4 and then here is the very first lap so overall the rating i'm going to give it is one star it was a solid track it had a few uh I mean, we have seen sections where it turns away from you, like those doubles, but it just had a kind of a unique feel to it. I really enjoyed that rhythm section. I enjoyed the, uh, after that giant triple in fifth gear, that rhythm section was really fun and kind of challenging. And the fact that it was a full send, wide open throttle kind of track, but it still wasn't that easy. It still really wasn't that easy. So one star overall, solid job, dude. I encourage you guys to go check this out if you're on PlayStation 4. But uh, we're going to let this lap finish out so you can see how bad we uh, went about this uh, track on our very first lap. And then we'll switch over into the second track.
Okay, so here we have 450 Madness SX by Chris BMX King. And this track was, it was a few things about this track. It was the my favorite track of the day, and it was the toughest track of the day. It was another one of those really long lap times, but it was filled with content. There was these super long, elaborate rhythm lanes. You're just constantly doing something. There really is no section on the track where it feels like you're not doing something. But it's not in an annoying way. I mean, it's planned out really well. I mean, you get kind of a break here where you hit the triple, the double across the track, but then this double coming back was actually really tough. If you spun it all coming out of the corner, you weren't getting it. And then the triple, triple was pretty easy. Now, this rhythm section was kind of tough because the triple in, not so tough. But then that was a really flat triple there. And then I actually over jumped it. Maybe you can quad it, but I was tripling and then step on, step off, and then triple step off. Okay, crazy, but uh, that's the best I got it. Now this rhythm section, I do mess up. Just uh, let you know, mess this up, but I do have a clip where we get this rhythm section as well as the next rhythm section better. Not perfect, but better. Because I mess up both of these, but... Uh, it was unfortunate. This triple in is sweet, but it's super hard to get over that triple uh, correctly. I mean, we kind of did, but then we messed it up there. You should have should have jumped over the table and then double out, I believe, and then hit this triple. And then I never took the outside, but uh, I also never fully cleared that first sand section for the triple out. A little bit of case, but guys, it was a really long track. It was a really tough track, but it was fun. This track was fun, oh my gosh, and it was challenging. Those rhythm lanes were so long, they were so tough, it was just insane. Now here we do get it a bit better. We missed that second triple the first time. And then here I think you probably should have choked, well no, it would have been a quad single maybe. And then we go triple in, triple, triple, Double, there you go. Okay, that was a better way of doing it. There's probably other lines left out on the table on this track, but uh, that was just a fairly easy way to go about it. And then here is our first ever lap on this track, which was, uh, for the most part, is a really ugly lap because it was our first one, but we did get a few sections. So, uh, yes, our overall rating for this track is half a star. I was very happy with it. It was very, very challenging. I know there's other tracks that have been similar that I gave one star, but I was just... Sometimes it's just the way the track is laid out and how challenging the rhythm lanes are. These rhythm lanes were super challenging, but they were doable. There were, like I said, there was other tracks that are very similar to this one that might have got a one star. Uh, I really, really love the layout of this track because it was just kind of, it was basically all rhythm lanes. And I mentioned before, I really love rhythm lanes where you have to try to learn how to hit it right and, and all that good stuff. So. Yes, half a star. Highly recommend this track on PlayStation if you want a challenge. But uh, yeah, let's uh, hop on over, let this lap finish out, and then hop on over into the third and final track of the day.
Okay, so here we have our third and final track of the day. This is uh, Flows with three S's by Webby RX8. And the track is actually pretty fun. It's a bit more simple than some of the, the other two that we were looking at earlier. And I actually had a heck of a time trying to figure out the first section. I don't know why I just had trouble jumping from table to table. And here you can triple over, but I never really got this triple. I, I don't know why. I messed around with my... Uh, my gear ratio, and I just could not figure it out. And then you have this, and if you hit this double just right, we actually over jumped, you can clear out pretty easily. Now here, normally I would take off because it's got those S turns, but it wasn't annoying. It was basically just, uh, you know, to change the, the look of the track. It didn't affect it any other way. Uh, Pre-made triple there, you can jump all the way over. We clipped a bit, but uh, simple enough. And then, oh no, the hip. But it wasn't so bad. It wasn't like it was uh, pressuring you into having to hit it just right to get over, you know, to double something. And then this actually could be hard too. Uh, many, many times I messed that up. But overall, it just was a nice, fun little track. It wasn't the, the best track I've ever seen, but it wasn't a bad track by any means. And then here is our first lap. But I was able to pretty much get every section I wanted to on that last lap. So here's our first lap. You can kind of see... Uh, how we approached it the first time see that's what I had trouble with many many times I just couldn't do it but uh, overall I'm gonna give it one and a half stars you know it fits very much I say this almost every does your track suck video I say that uh, there's usually at least one track that really does fit into the it's a good track it's a good track it's not the best track and it's not the worst track it's just a good track yeah uh, it's fun i do recommend people uh checking this out there we messed up but maybe you could wheel tap over that and then have a single so that rhythm section does have a few options so uh yes one and a half stars remember to leave your track name the platform you're on and your gamer tag in the comments below and i will try to get to your guys's tracks but uh, we're gonna let this lap finish out and that will end this episode of Does Your Track Suck. So, you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. Let me know if you think this is a better way of doing Does Your Track Suck in the comments. And we can go from there. But, again, you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. And until the next video, take it easy.